Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we will talk about the smart screen settings in Windows 8. What is the smart screen? Um, basically, to put your computer um, more secure, Microsoft actually did something uh, called a smart screen. And what it does is it can filter out the different apps and programs you download or install and see that it's good or not to install. So it, it's kind of interesting to have because it can prevent you from installing what is a virus, for example, because it will tell you, hey, this app or this program is considered a virus and we don't want you to install it. So it does add a layer of security to your install and most of the time you want the smart screen to work well but the smart screen it can also be annoying sometimes and I've had an example for that I have an uh, AM radio um, application that I installed on my computer and that application is not known much it, not a lot of people use it but it is a very safe application but because Windows 8 didn't know what it was, it actually didn't want me to install it. And I had to do some really um, kind of use a lot of steps to actually install it anyway, even though the computer didn't want to. So uh, it kind of was annoying in that case. But keep in mind that it's a layer security and you don't want to necessarily tamper with it. For most people, uh, the smart screen settings are set okay. Uh, power users might actually want to change those because sometimes you might want to use an app that will come out as being something uh, undesirable. So how do you do that? Well, when you're on the start screen, start typing on your keyboard security. And then go into settings right under the uh, search there you'll have a list and one of the list is check security status and here you go security status is there in the security status left side you have change window smart screen settings and here you go you have to enter your administrator password if you wanna uh, really make it work if you're not the administrator you really need to know that information or else it won't work. And so, um, once you've installed, you've entered that information, if you're not administrator, it will show you the um, official smart screen. Sorry, it's in French here because my <coughs> official part of Windows where it's uh, admin, admin uh, is a French. Basically, what you'll have is, what do you want to do with unrecognized apps? <clears throat> and so you'll have three, three settings. One is get administrator approval before running an unrecognizable app from the internet, which is a recommended setting and it's the first one up. You'll have warn before running an unrecognized app, but don't require administrator approval. So this will be less annoying. It's still going to tell you, well, something's wrong, but um, look, I'll let you run it anyway. And of course, there's the last option, which is don't do anything. Turn off Windows Smart Screen. I don't recommend doing that. Um, you should have at least some form of information displayed if something might be bad for your computer. I think it would be good. Apart from that, uh, like I said, if you're simply uh, regular Windows user. Uh, leave it as is at the uh, get the administrator approval before running any unrecognized apps. And I think that's the safest way of going. So this was a little video showing you where to get the smart screen uh, information and how to change it in Windows 8. If you enjoy these videos, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed of all the videos we put online. Especially if you want to learn more about Windows 8. Maybe you've got that new Windows 8 machine. Maybe you'll get that new Windows 8 machine uh, for Christmas or a present. So uh, 
I think it's a good idea if you uh, want to learn more about Windows 8 to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any comments or questions, let us know. We'll be happy to answer any questions. And if you have a request of a video you'd like to see, let us know also. We'll try to put that video online for you. So thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you again on the old computer, uh, on the Windows 8 channel, official Windows 8 channel, sorry. Um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.